I paid 5 different artists to draw custom gun skins for Valorant, ranging from 10 euros all the way up to 100. And for this, I let 5 of my friends come up with some really cool designs. So let's see what they had in mind. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. Yo, what's up dude? When I used to play Valorant, uh, when I first started, I never really um, purchased any skins or anything like that. Nothing really catches my fancy, but then the Singularity set came out later, Sentinels of Light as well, and I really liked those uh, like cosmetics, which uh, where the gun sort of took itself apart and looked alive in a way. So um, my idea was for a skin which did that, but in a natural way. There are branches and leaves and things. While browsing Fiverr to find an artist for Jin's nature design, I stumbled upon Lump Thump. For now, I'm going to keep the price tags hidden because I also want to see how well you will be able to guess the correct prices for these skins. His style is very unique, doing these retro vintage comic illustrations, which I think will look amazing when showcasing a gun. I wanted to see how well he'd be able to turn this creative vision into a Valorant cosmetic, but also in the style that he is known for. He seemed very excited about the project, and in about two weeks I got the final result. Hi! So, uh, my idea was to get the Hearthstone audience into Valorant a little bit. So I was thinking, hmm, how can I combine these two? I was then thinking, okay, how can I make a Hearthstone weapon? And I was thinking about, like, iconic Hearthstone stuff, and I thought of Murlocs, and I thought, Murlocs could be a way to make a skin cool. Like, for example, when you reload it, then there's, like, this Murloc sounds, this, you know, that one. <laughs> That's a good impression. <laughs> yeah. The front of the gun should could be like a murloc head and then the bullet comes out. It has like teeth and stuff and gears on the side. The bullets could be like fish and stuff. Yeah, like it was a lot. Singular's design was very clever. So I wanted to find an artist with a style that would match that. I ended up finding Davro Ave, who specializes in watercolor drawings. Because Sunher skin was about murlocs, which kind of have something to do with water, I thought it fit pretty well. He also seemed super down to work on it, and he was the fastest out of everyone, giving me the drawing in less than 24 hours. Hello? Hello. So, my concept was a Timo, like, Marshall-style gun, because it kinda could be done to look like the straw from Timo. From League of Legends. Yes. What an awful game. For Wolferis, I decided not to look on Fiverr, but instead commission her friend Awa Nix without her knowing. So it'll be fun to see her reaction. She's a super talented artist that I've commissioned before for my emotes as well. And luckily for me, she was also interested in doing this custom weapon skin. I don't really have much to say here. She's always super pleasant to work with, sent me multiple updates, and eventually got me the wonderful concept art of a Timo gun for Valorant. Yo. Yo, what's up, dude? My idea was like uh, Greek mythology, like Mount Olympus against the underworld, like Zeus versus Hades and, and all the things, right? And I just gave like ideas of what maybe could be added, like Charon for like the, and Cerberus for like the Hades part, for like the underworld part, and like Mount Olympus. I wanted to find someone on Fiverr that was creative enough to turn this concept into some neat art. But I also wanted someone again with a different style. Meet Kaspars. He does some very cool illustrations that seem to pop. The style seemed like a mix of comic, cartoon, and just very expressive. He loved the idea as well and asked a lot of questions in the process to get things just right. And also in about two weeks, I had his Valorant custom gun. Hello, I was inspired by nature and the sustainable design, like from sustainable architecture, mm -hmm. which I love. I was thinking not just the aesthetic of it, how it looks, but also the way it functions. So I was thinking of it as also the way it operates with like renewable energy, mm -hmm. like green buildings. Like the first thing I thought of was like imagining a gun encasing like an ecosystem itself, like all working together. Ooh. I don't know how it would look like in Valorant terms. Then after that, I was like, hmm, it's a bit like Gaia inspired. Then I went to that architecture more type mixed with vegetation. Last but not least, for Shams, I landed on Coferosa. She's more of a digital painter with a bit of realism instead of the comic illustrations we've had before, but she also specializes on turning random creative ideas into visuals. So I figured she'd be perfect to turn this eco-friendly nature skin into reality. Luckily, after contacting her, she was more than willing to do this concept art for us, and I got the final result already in about a week. I am also glad to report that all four sellers left me a 5-star rating. All right, time to reveal the gun skins and guess the pricing. I'm very excited, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what to expect. This is it. Ooh, Ooh wow. I love the, the, the stock design. 
it's so unconventional, but wow, it's, it's, it's instantly recognizable as an AK, but yeah, no, that's that's amazing. It, it's not my favorite style, but it's fine. I think it's it's okay. But it doesn't have much detail, right? Oh, <laughs> that's so sick, dude. That's so sick. I think this might be the 100 one, actually. I really like this. I think it's so cool. Uh -huh. Like the, the, the wood popping up. Wait, that's sick. It almost looks like a clothing piece. A clothing piece? Yeah, it looks so, like, drapey. The, on the right side, it looks like a blouse or something. What is that even? Oh, like uh, one of those fluffy tops. Yeah, it looks like a uh, cloth. And But that also fits into the na nature theme, too. I think it's really good. Wait. That is quite cool. I like the style of it actually. Also, look at the, um, the like the blue pipe going. I can imagine the uh, VFX on this would be um, quite cool as well. No, it looks really, really good. What price do you think this was? Between ten to a hundred. Mm, the detailing on it, and the, like the shadows and everything. To say this is either sixty or eighty. I'd say sixty. This probably should have costed that around twenty to fifty. I'm gonna go for the seventy-five. Actually, I think it might be the seventy-five. Hundred. I zoom into that, and there's like textures and stuff. Maybe around the forty mark. It's still three D with the lighting. Like you can tell and the shadow, but it's not as demanding to render it and everything. You had the 50 one in the middle yep. of the bank. Oh, is that the 50? Yeah. So I know the bank. Okay, that's sick. Yeah, it looks it looks even more expensive than that. Are you excited to see your gun skin? Yeah! What? Man! It's not so bad. Okay, I see uh I see the eye from the Murloc. I see how do you call it? The gills? No, not the gills. How do you call it like the skin? I think the idea is cool. I really like the gun having the eye and the pattern of like with the scales and everything. It looks cool. I like the colors a lot. <laughs> oh, it's nice. I, I like it. But it does not have the murloc style. It looks sort of like an aquatic creature, not murloc to me because of the scales, right? Murlocs don't have scales, I think. <gasps> oh my god, the eye. <laughs> actually looks a bit like a murloc yeah no i get it that's good wow these are super cool that's actually it reminds me one of the other skins that i use is the one with the little fish tank in the spectre oh yeah the the blub blub i, I don't know what the yeah. name is the neptune could that i be think it? so oh wait wow i love this wait that's quite original and i love the eye and then the, the difference in the textures. I see the, the teeth at the front of the gun. I do see the color scheme. I do see the bubbles. I would say 10. It looks very simple, very sketched. So it can't be very expensive since it was not very rendered, but it does look cute. Five to 15 euros. Yeah, I think this is the 10. Whilst the design is really good, it's a bit more simple artistically. So 20 or 30. Because it's more of like a sketch and not a render, maybe it's a bit on the lower end, but maybe around 30. Yeah, you got the 10. Yeah, I think it's really good for 10 euros. I think my guesses are not that bad, actually. Oh, really? Okay. It's so cool because you're not only paying for the, the image itself, you're paying for them to come up with the yeah, design. Yeah, with the idea, exactly. So actually, this is really good. Okay, are you ready to see it? Yes, I'm definitely ready. Oh my god. Oh my god, this looks so cool. This looks amazing. It has so much detail. It's so thoughtful. Whoever did this had thought even about the old gloves from Timo and the tiny bit of his fur color this is amazing wait that's so cool wait that's actually so cool that, that's really i think it's 100 <laughs> this is really cool like you see the puff, the, the puff caps of, of timo yeah. and then the timo shroom as the finisher uh it, it's it, it's amazing i think this is fantastic it could fit right into valorant in my opinion if you put it in and i would say this is leaked as a new skin i would believe it wait a second that's sick that's like, uh, almost like a pitch to a riot, almost. With a perspective, wait, let me load it to... Or take super long to load, jeez. We might... There's no way. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, I love the Timo on top of the scope thingy. Oh, well, I'm gonna go with this is the 100 one. <laughs> Instantly off rip? Yep, yep. Uh, that is, uh, seriously next level, isn't it? <laughs> I love concept, concept art like that. <gasps> Gosh. Oh, that is amazing. I can tell that that's his finisher with the like ability. Yeah. He's sitting on top of it. Oh my god, I love it. I would say 
between 70 to 100. This has to be high. Yeah, I think this is 100. Oh, you can see she's really like skills with her perspectives. I would say like 80. It's like the 90, 80, right? You should hire this person. So this one was the 75. The 75, okay. <laughs> what? This is insane. Damn. Well, I'm looking forward to the most expensive one as well then. <laughs> yeah, and it was done by Nyx. God, Nyx is so good. I love it. I love that Nyx got this as a commission, especially because she loves Timo and she knows a lot about League of Legends, right? Oh, really? Yes. So I am so happy with the results. Like the way her mind works is fucking amazing. I love Nyx. Here it is. Oh, wait, so nice. It's clean. It's not what I expected because it's only like the Mount Olympus part, right? Uh -huh. But it, I do see the Greek part of it. Damn, it's good. It looks very rendered, very clean. And I like the concept. It looks like it could be in the video game itself, but I don't see much of the Greek mythology except on that handle where you grab the gun. But I do like the drawing itself. Wow, that looks like just a Valorant weapon. It looks like it could just be in there. Oh, wait, Greek mythology? It might be on theme, but I feel like it's not that special. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's seems so generic. I'm assuming that they didn't really design weapons before, so it's like a comic artist. That must be really difficult if you don't like do this a lot. Like designing a weapon is hard, probably. Yeah, yeah. Like the rendering is really nice. I like the uh, the glow of the of the blue. Ooh, that's different. I like that. That's like a uh, yeah. No, I definitely see it. That uh, magazine is beautiful. It's got um, illumination and stuff. Oh, I like how like it's bright and it looks like it has like a power system inside it. Oh, this is cool. How much do you think this skin costed? <laughs> um, I'm gonna gamble on the. On the 25, the reason why is, I think, because otherwise maybe both things would be included if it mm -hmm. was on the higher end. Okay, so I would be on the verge between like the 25s to 50s as well. I think that was not cheap. 50 plus. I want to say it was similar price to mine because whilst it's less detailed, it's very clean. I'd say maybe 70 if. Yeah, it's like the second or third. Third highest, maybe. Uh, 30? It was actually 25, yeah. You're correct. <laughs> Shit. Okay. I, I'm just good. <laughs> Damn! He's good though. Like, my critique is Greek mythology. Maybe it's like too, like, subtle. But I also don't know what the prompt was exactly. Really? Wow, this is a really good job on it. The, the quality on that is insanely nice. Um, This is what you did with your brief and with your ideas. <gasps> That is amazing. That was so cool. Wait, it's like mixed concrete with the wood and then with a bit of vegetation in between. Mm -hmm. That is really cool. I like it. Like even these grooves in the woods on the handle part or like the back side of the gun, like um, inspired by like some of the pictures I sent you. Okay, so this looks way more like an actual gun. And it almost reminds me of the bone, like not even the concrete, like marmor maybe even built into the the gun itself. It looks very realistic to a certain point where I actually am contemplating if it was made in like Photoshop. I could see this existing in real life, right? And being a total functional gun. Oh yeah, this also looks realistic, but for some reason I like Timo more. If this, you also would say it, if it was Lethal and Valorant, you would also believe it. But my personal preference goes to the 75 actually. What? That is really, really realistic. Hey, it looks like they just took it out of a game. That's crazy. I can see the um, recycle element of it. You know, like uh, the materials, they look like like a bit like broken almost. The base seems to be a wood and there's some lava, some green shit behind it. I feel like they nailed the prompt of it, like with the recycle. Wait, they painted it? It looks like 3D model almost. Oh, that's nice. It's really clean, nice design. It fits the prompt well. I, I think this one is really cool, but it still looks like the gun, which I quite like. How much do you think the budget for this was? Probably on the higher end because of the details. Like the lighting is really cool. It has a lot of depth. I don't know, 
75, 80, maybe. This looks like it was a lot of work. It, it's probably the the 100. As I said, it's the 75 and the 100. I think the difference is minimal based on quality. It looks like you took it out of Valorant, took a screenshot, 100. I was saying it's going to be expensive. I would say it cost you 80 for this. Yeah, yeah, you're close. You actually got the 100 one. Really? Yeah, yeah. It looks amazing. I think it actually, because of all the details, and it looks so realistic. I think Nyx outdid herself as usual. <laughs> And it looks an actual idea for like Riot to take in and put it into a gun skin on Valorant. If this was available on Valorant, I would definitely buy it. I think all the artists did a great job. But, like, I and just clicked on the team again. I think it looks so great. My addiction of League of Legends is just popping up. But yeah, all skins are amazing. I like mine. It's like way different style compared to the other ones. It's like yeah. comic. It could be like a Valorant comic. Wait, I, I wanna, I wanna choose my favorite. And what are you like basing it on? On like the execution or like the idea or? It's just vibes, I think. Oh, vibes! <laughs> the fuck. <Okay. Yeah. laughs> That one is so good. That was the comic artist, right? It looks so good. I think the comic style just it adds it adds something to it. I would buy this one in the Marshall, I think. If they were like in the Valorant shop. Yeah, yeah, for sure. This one actually looks like it is in the Valorant shop. This is probably my favorite. I don't want to pick favorites, but like they're very articulate about the way they designed it. I feel like they they could work for Riot. Like. That's crazy. A very quick note, I do not like comparing artists to each other, especially when they set different pricing and have such different styles. The price guessing was purely just for content, but all of them honestly did quality work and were a pleasure to work with. I hope you enjoyed the video and go check out everyone in the description.